Hello boys and girls and welcome to another lesson of science and daily life in the grade 9 classroom. I am Miss Riemann and I'm here to take you on another informative lesson as we explore more on sexually transmitted diseases. Last class we would have talked a little bit about the difference between STIs and STDs. We also identified the different types of STIs and we stated some examples of those types of STIs. Today, we're going to identify the types of bacterial STIs. Now, what is a bacterial STI? Bacteria are very small, single-celled life forms that live in and around us and can reproduce very quickly. While not all bacteria are harmful, in fact, our bodies need some type of good bacteria to survive. Some, however, can cause diseases and illnesses. Here you can take a look at an image of a bacteria. Now in order to survive and develop, most bacteria use organic matter, that is our bodies, as food and warmth. Therefore, if we think about the warmth, moist parts of our bodies, they are the ideal places for bacteria to thrive and grow. Bacterial STIs can be passed on to someone else through vaginal and oral sex, as well as any form of genital contact. Most bacterial infections can be treated with the correct dose of antibiotics, but if left undiagnosed or untreated, they can cause major long-term damages to our bodies. And sometimes they can cause damages that makes it difficult to get pregnant in the future. Now, what are some types of bacterial STIs? We have chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. Today, we're going to look at each of these more in depth. Starting with chlamydia. Among the most common bacterial STI in the world, there is chlamydia. It is passed on by having unprotected oral, anal, or vaginal sex. Condoms can help prevent the spread of chlamydia during vaginal or anal sex. Most people have no symptoms. The infection can be cured with a single dose of antibiotics. A person can get the infection again once it's treated and the process continues. Chlamydia is curable. Let us talk a little bit about gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial infection. It is passed along by having unprotected sex. Condoms can also help to prevent the spread of gonorrhea during vaginal or anal sex. Most people have no symptoms as well. The infection can also be cured with antibiotics. A person can get the infection again. Please take note, gonorrhea is curable. The next one we'll look at is syphilis. Now, syphilis is a rare sexually transmitted bacterial infection. It can cause some serious damages to the body if not cure. That includes death. It is passed along by having unprotected sex. Condoms can help prevent the spread of syphilis during any sexual activity. Syphilis also provides a wide range of symptoms that are often confused with other illnesses. Some people have no symptoms at all. The infection can be cured with antibiotics. However, a person can get infected again. Syphilis is curable. Okay, boys and girls, the only effective way that can be 100% workable is abstinence. 
what is abstinence? Abstinence mean to do not do something. Sexual abstinence mean to abstain from different levels of sexual activity. Boys and girls, this has brought us to the end of a very informative lesson on STIs caused by bacteria. I am Miss Riemann and do join me again for another lesson as we explore more on STIs formed or caused by viruses. Until next time, bye-bye.